In today's session, we're going to be working on against a jab, a hook, and an uppercut. The characters that you're going to see is the characters that we basically used in our last session last Saturday, which is going to be a gang sao and a guang sao. This time, we're adding a gong sao against the uppercut and finishing it off with, um, with a bong sao and a bong girth and a side kick to the knee. Giovanni and David are going to do it in a nice slow pace so you can see the character and the foot placement when being done. And then on the second stage, you're going to do it with a fast momentum and rhythm behind it so you can see the realistic approach behind it. All right, thank you. Go ahead. All right, Giovanni. All right, okay. Now do it at a faster pace. All right, reverse it. Good. Now, understand that this may seem prearranged because you're basically knowing where the attack's already coming from, but what we're working on is three most important basic principles. One first principle is not to be there. Second principle is to cover. Third principle is to maintain your center. This is what we're working on. Again, your objective is that hopefully when the jab comes in, you're able to destroy your opponent at that moment. But if it doesn't happen, you have the contingency of following it up with a Kwang Sa. And then after that, of course, it comes out. So again, enjoy this um, um, video and thank you.